Hello everyone, this is Alexi. Happy Lunar New Year to everyone celebrating. As this is the year of a rabbit, it is promised to bring prosperity, hope and calm. My blessings to you and your families. And now let's check. What is new in power semiconductors industry? Aircraft manufacturers designing more electric aircraft are looking to convert the flight control systems from hydraulic to electric to reduce weight and design complexities. To meet the needs for an integrated and configurable power solution for aviation applications, Microchip Technology announced a new comprehensive hybrid power drive module, the first variant introduced in a new product line of power devices that will be available in 12 different variants with either silicon carbide MOSFETs or IGBT chips. These hybrid power drive modules are highly integrated power semiconductor devices that reduce the number of components and simplify the overall system design. The configurable power devices include a three-bridge topology that are available in silicon carbide or silicon semiconductor technologies. A hybrid transistor with monolithically integrated gallium nitride-based high electron mobility transistor and silicon carbide-based PN diet was successfully fabricated and demonstrated by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology Researches for the first time in the world. The prototype hybrid transistor achieves both the gallium nitride feature of low ohm resistance and a proven non-destructive breakdown on silicon carbide diodes. As a result, application of hybrid transistors is expected to power converters for applications that require high reliability, such as electric vehicles and photovoltaic power generation. Going forward, further optimization of the device fabrication process will be promoted to establish a path to practical application. Bosch has announced it will invest around 1 billion US dollars over several years in the development and production of components for electromobility and automated driving in China, and it will build a center for research, development, and production in Suzhou for this purpose. The subsidiary Bosch Automotive Products will be responsible for building the facility at the existing Bosch site in the city of Suzhou, west of Shanghai. The center, a long titled Bosch R&D and Manufacturing Base for New Energy Vehicles, Core Components and Automated Driving, will cover 300,000 square meters and, according to an official company statement, will focus primarily on electrified drive products with the latest silicon carbide power modules. US power chip maker Wallspeed is planning to build a factory in Germany for more than 2 billion US dollars. The German auto supplier ZF is set to hold a minority stake. According to the available information, production should begin in four years at the site in a small southwest German state of Saarland. So far, the project was not officially confirmed by any of the parties involved. Texas Instruments announced that its board of directors has selected Haviv Elon to become the company's next president and chief executive officer. Elon, a 24-year veteran of Texas Instruments, succeeds current CEO and president Richard Templeton, who will transition out of his roles over the next two months, but will remain the company's chairman. The transition is a well-planned succession that follows Elon's promotion to Senior Vice President in 2014, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer in 2020, and election to the Board of Directors in 2021. In recent years, silicon carbide Schottky barrier diets are increasingly used in high power applications. These devices differ fundamentally from traditional silicon PN diets. The Semicron Danfoss webinar explains the behavior differences and how to take advantage of these differences in a converter. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more Power Semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or reach me on LinkedIn. Have a great day!